Welcome everyone. Today, we dive into the world of exchange traded funds or ETFs that pay monthly dividends. Now you might ask, what exactly are ETFs? Well, think of them as a basket of securities that you can buy or sell through a brokerage firm on a stock exchange. They're designed to track the performance of specific indexes, sectors, commodities, or assets. Now on to dividends. Dividends are a portion of a company's earnings that are paid out to shareholders, typically on a quarterly basis. But here's where it gets interesting. Some ETFs offer dividends on a monthly basis. Imagine receiving a little bit of your investment back every single month. It's like getting a paycheck for investing. Sounds great, right? But why should you care about monthly dividends? There are a few reasons. First, they provide a steady stream of income. This can be particularly beneficial if you're retired and looking for a consistent income source. Second, they can be reinvested to purchase more shares, which can potentially lead to higher returns over time. And third, they can act as a cushion during market downturns, providing a source of income, even when stock prices fall. Now, not all ETFs are created equal, and it's crucial to choose the right ones for your investment goals and risk tolerance. That's why we're going to delve into four specific ETFs that not only offer monthly dividends, but are also known for their performance and reliability. Are you ready to explore the world of monthly dividend ETFs? Buckle up and keep your eyes and ears open as we embark on this journey of financial enlightenment. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it could also mean more money in your pocket. Stay tuned as we delve into four specific monthly dividend ETFs that you might want to consider. Hello viewers, if you are enjoying this content and you do not want to miss future videos filled with even more tips, tricks, and inspiration, hit that subscribe button now to stay tuned with us and remember to comment and share. First on our list is the Global X Super Dividend US ETF, known by its ticker symbol DIV. This exchange-traded fund is designed for those who are after a steady stream of income. But let's delve a little deeper to understand what makes DIV tick. The Global X Super Dividend US ETF, or DV as we'll refer to it, is made up of approximately 50 of the highest dividend-yielding equity securities in the United States. This includes a diverse array of sectors such as real estate, consumer discretionary, and energy, among others. By investing in a variety of sectors, DEV aims to provide investors with a broad exposure to the U.S. market, thereby reducing the risk associated with over-reliance on a single sector. Now let's talk about DIV's historical performance. Since its inception in 2013, DIV has provided investors with an average annualized return of approximately 6%, while this may not seem like a lot when compared to some high-growth ETFs, it's important to remember that DIV's primary goal is to provide consistent and sustainable dividends. This focus on dividends rather than aggressive growth makes DIV a potentially attractive option for income-focused investors. Speaking of dividends, let's touch on DIV's dividend yield. As of the end of September 2024, DIV boasted a trailing 12-month yield of just over 7%. This is significantly higher than the average yield of around 2% for the S&P 500. The high yield is largely a result of DIV's strategy of investing in high-dividend-paying companies. Now, this might sound like a dream come true for income investors, but it's crucial to understand that a high yield often comes with its own set of risks. This brings us to the advantages and disadvantages of investing in DIV. Starting with the advantages, DIV's high dividend yield is an obvious draw. It's one of the highest yields you'll find in an ETF that focuses on U.S. equities. This makes it a potentially attractive option for those seeking consistent income. Additionally, DIV's diversified portfolio can help to mitigate some of the risks associated with investing in a single sector or a handful of companies. Moving on to the disadvantages, the high yield comes with a higher degree of risk. Companies that pay high dividends often do so because they have limited growth opportunities. This means that while you may enjoy a steady stream of income, the underlying value of your investment may not grow as much as it would in a growth-focused ETF. Moreover, sectors like real estate and energy, which make up a significant portion of DEV's portfolio, can be highly cyclical and susceptible to economic downturns. Furthermore, like all ETFs, DV comes with expense ratios, which are the costs associated with managing the fund. As of September 2024, DIV's expense ratio stood at 0.45%. While not exorbitantly high, this is something investors need to take into account when calculating their potential returns. In conclusion, the Global X Super Dividend US ETF, or DV, 
is an option worth considering for those seeking a high dividend yield. It offers a diversified portfolio of high dividend paying U.S. equities, but like all investments, it comes with its own set of risks. DV offers a high dividend yield, but remember, it comes with its own set of risks. Always do your research before investing. So, if you're an income-focused investor, DIV may be a worthy addition to your portfolio, but as always, ensure you understand the risks involved and that it aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Next up, we have the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, or SPHD. The financial world is chock full of acronyms, but let's break this one down. SPHD is a type of investment fund, an exchange-traded fund, or ETF to be precise, managed by Invesco. It's designed to mimic the performance of the S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility Index. Now, that's quite a mouthful. But it essentially means that this ETF is composed of 50 of the least volatile high dividend yielding companies within the S&P 500. So, what exactly does that mean for an investor? Well, in layman's terms, it means that SPHD aims to provide you with a steady stream of income through dividends while also minimizing the risk of dramatic price fluctuations. Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Now, let's talk numbers. Historically, SPHD has demonstrated a solid performance. Over the past decade, it has consistently ranked in the top half of all dividend-focused ETFs. That's a testament to its reliability and the savvy strategy behind its composition. In terms of dividend yield, SPHD shines brightly. As of the end of September 2024, it boasts a trailing 12-month yield of just over 4%. That's significantly higher than the S&P 500's average yield of around 2%. This higher yield is a key selling point for SPHD, making it a magnet for income-focused investors. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Like any investment, SPHD has its downsides. It's heavily weighted towards utilities and consumer staples sectors, which can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, these sectors tend to be less volatile and offer consistent dividends, aligning with SPHD's overall strategy. On the other hand, this heavy weighting can limit the fund's growth potential during bull markets as these sectors often lag behind others in terms of growth. Moreover, while SPHD's focus on low volatility companies helps to cushion the blow during market downturns, it's not an absolute shield. During the market crash in March 2020, for example, SPHD experienced a steep drop in value. However, it's worth noting that it recovered relatively quickly, demonstrating its resilience. It's also important to consider the expense ratio. SPHD has an expense ratio of 0.3%. While this is relatively low compared to other high-dividend ETFs, it's still an additional cost that will eat into your returns. So, as always, it's crucial to take all costs into account when considering any investment. So, who might find SPHD appealing? Well, it's a particularly attractive choice for conservative investors who prioritize income and stability over high growth. It's also a solid pick for those looking to diversify their portfolio with high dividend yielding companies. And of course, it's a great option for those who want exposure to the S&P 500, but with a twist. To sum it up, SPHD is a unique blend of high dividends and low volatility. It's carefully crafted to provide a steady stream of income while also offering a degree of protection against market volatility. While it's not without its drawbacks, its consistent performance and high yield make it a compelling option for many investors. SPHD offers a balance of high dividends and low volatility, making it an attractive choice for conservative investors. Third on our list is the Wisdom Tree U.S. High Dividend Fund, also known as DHS. Now, let's dive into the details. The DHS is an exchange-traded fund, or ETF for short, that is managed by Wisdom Tree Investments. This fund primarily focuses on high-dividend-yielding U.S. companies, making it an attractive option for investors seeking steady income streams. The composition of DHS is such that it includes a broad range of companies across various sectors. This ensures a diversified portfolio, which is crucial in spreading risk. It's not just about having your eggs in different baskets, it's about having them in different types of baskets. From healthcare to industrials, from technology to consumer staples, DHS holds a slice of many sectors, providing investors with a broad exposure to the U.S. economy. Now, let's talk numbers. Looking at the historical performance, the DHS has shown a consistent track record. Over the past decade, it has steadily grown, despite the occasional market downturns and economic uncertainties. This resilience speaks volumes about the fund's robustness and its ability to weather financial storms. But what about the dividends? After all, 
That's the main attraction here. The DHS has a relatively high dividend yield, consistently hovering around 3% annually. This means that for every $100 invested, you can expect to receive around $3 back each year in dividends alone. Of course, no investment comes without risks, and DHS is no exception. While it offers a high dividend yield, it's important to note that the fund's performance is tied to the overall health of the U.S. economy. In times of economic downturn, the dividends may decrease as companies cut back on their payouts. Additionally, because DHS holds a significant portion of its portfolio in large-cap stocks, it may be more susceptible to market volatility compared to funds that hold a more balanced mix of large, mid- and small-cap stocks. On the flip side, the advantages of investing in DHS are numerous. As we've mentioned, the high dividend yield is certainly a major draw. Moreover, the fund's broad sector coverage offers a level of diversification that can provide a buffer against sector-specific downturns. Furthermore, because the DHS is an ETF, it offers the benefits of both mutual funds and individual stocks. This includes the ability to buy and sell during market hours, transparency in holdings, and lower expense ratios compared to traditional mutual funds. In conclusion, the Wisdom Tree U.S. High Dividend Fund offers a compelling mix of high dividend yield and diversification. It's a fund that's built to deliver steady income, making it a suitable choice for income-focused investors. However, like all investments, it's important to do your due diligence and consider your own risk tolerance and investment goals before diving in. DHS is a solid choice for those seeking high dividend yield from a diversified portfolio of U.S. companies. Whether you're a seasoned investor looking to diversify your portfolio further, or a newbie looking to dip your toes into the world of ETFs, DHS is certainly a fund worth considering. Last but not least, we have the Invesco Preferred ETF, or PGX. This fund is quite unique, focusing primarily on preferred stocks. But what exactly does that mean? Well, let's dive in to find out. Preferred stocks sit somewhere between common stocks and bonds. They have bond-like features such as a fixed dividend, but they also have the potential for price appreciation like common stocks. This combination can offer a unique blend of stability and growth, making them an appealing choice for many investors. Let's look at the composition of PGX. This fund is heavily tilted toward the financial sector, with over 70% of its holdings in financial companies. This sector focus is typical for preferred stock ETFs, as financial institutions are among the main issuers of preferred stocks. The remaining portion of the fund is spread across utilities, real estate, and other sectors. Now let's talk about performance. Historically, PGX has shown a relatively stable performance, demonstrating less volatility compared to the broader market. This is largely due to its focus on preferred stocks, which tend to be less volatile than common stocks. However, it's important to note that past performance is not indicative of future results, and any investment comes with its own set of risks. Moving on to the dividend yield. As of our last check, PGX has a distribution yield of about 5.3%. This is quite attractive, especially when compared to the average yield of the S&P 500, which hovers around 1.5%. This high yield is a result of the fund's focus on preferred stocks, which generally offer higher dividends than common stocks. So, what are the advantages of investing in PGX? First, the high dividend yield can provide a steady stream of income, which can be particularly appealing for income-focused investors. Second, the fund's focus on preferred stocks can offer a unique diversification opportunity as these securities behave differently than common stocks and bonds. Lastly, the relatively low volatility of preferred stocks can potentially provide some stability to your portfolio. However, investing in PGX also comes with its set of challenges. The heavy sector concentration in financials can expose the fund to sector-specific risks. For example, if the financial sector were to face a downturn, PGX could be significantly impacted. Additionally, while preferred stocks can offer higher dividends, they also come with higher credit risk compared to bonds. In conclusion, PGX is a unique offering in the world of ETFs. Its focus on preferred stocks can provide a high dividend yield and a unique diversification opportunity. However, like any investment, it comes with its own set of risks. Therefore, it's crucial to thoroughly research and understand the fund before adding it to your portfolio. So, is PGX the right fit for your investment strategy? That's a question only you can answer. It's important to consider your risk tolerance, investment goals, and overall portfolio composition before making a decision. As always, we recommend consulting with a financial advisor to help guide your investment decisions.
PGX is a unique offering focusing on preferred stocks and can be a great addition to diversify your portfolio. So, there you have it. Four monthly dividend ETFs that could potentially boost your investment income. We've journeyed through the vast landscape of exchange-traded funds focusing on four key players in the monthly dividend arena. Each one, though unique in its approach and holdings, shares the common thread of providing regular monthly income to investors. First, we dove into the Global X Super Dividend US ETF, or DV. We saw how its focus on high dividend yielding US stocks offers a unique opportunity for investors seeking a steady and robust income stream. But, as always, with high reward comes high risk. Next up, we turned our attention to the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, also known as SPHD. We discovered how this fund aims to strike a balance between high dividend yield and low volatility, potentially providing a safer harbor in stormy market conditions. Our exploration then led us to the Wisdom Tree U.S. High Dividend Fund, or DHS. We saw how this ETF's broad exposure to high-yielding U.S. stocks could offer a diversified income stream, cushioning any potential bumps along the investment road. Finally, we looked at the Invesco Preferred ETF, PGX. We learned how this fund's focus on preferred stocks could offer higher yields than common stocks, while also potentially lowering the risk compared to traditional equity investments. But remember, as enticing as these monthly dividend ETFs may seem, it's crucial to do your own research before diving in. Understand your risk tolerance, your financial goals, and the specifics of each ETF. Investing is not a one-size-fits-all game, and what works for one person may not work for another. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and share it with your friends. Until next time, happy investing!